What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going to talk about a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. It's about MT sites, price fixing, are they good, are they a scam, and whatnot, because I want to talk about it to the community. Um, as you guys do know, I do promote them and all that, but before we get into the video, guys, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff, because... We got a pretty interesting topic. I know there's been a lot of talk about MT sites in the community, and I'm honestly going to break down my complete opinion on them. So drop the like, guys. 100 likes on the video. Drop the sub. It would be greatly appreciated because I'm going to spread some knowledge in the community. You don't have to. You could disagree. It's fine. I want to hear it in the comments what you guys have to say and whatnot. But, yeah, let's get into it. Let's talk about this. So as you guys do know, um... There's a couple sets in the game that are price fixed. I want to talk about price fixing first because everybody's been talking about price fixing, like MT sites, price fix. Is it a fact? Is it a fact though? It probably is. I'm not going to say it isn't. But now here is the logic behind it. Here's what I want to talk about the most, okay? Um, we're going to talk about one card in general. We're going to talk about a couple cards. So if you guys don't know, man, um, KD... KD is not one of them. Uh, one of them is definitely Giannis and Rashad Lewis, okay? Rashad Lewis is 110% price fix, as you guys can see. Now, people are going to say, bro, I'm never going to get this Kareem said he's price fixed. So now, people are going to say one thing, right? Bro, these MT sites are price fixing. This isn't cool. Think about this, guys. If this set was not price fixed, right? This card will probably be around 800k, okay? Almost 80% of the community at this stage in the game will acquire this card. They will acquire one of the best center in the game for around 1 mil MT, okay? Think about that for one second. They will get the best center in the game for around 1.2 mil to 1 mil MT if this card was not price fixed, okay? Now, are the MT sites doing it? Probably. Are the MT sites a scam? I know for a fact my site is not a scam but sometimes you can order off the site and your order will get messed up or whatever but that is why i promote them so if you have any struggles with the mt site you dm me i dm them and your order gets fixed like that it's happened a couple times i'm not going to say all these sites are not a scam not the some of them are mine definitely isn't i know some youtubers promoted promoted sites are not a scam sometimes orders get messed up Think about it, if you're running a business and thousands of people are trying to get MT, some of them are going to get messed up. I completely understand, but that is why I sponsor them. If you have any issues, you can DM me on Twitter. Now, price fixing. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You could say it's a good thing as an MT community. I mean, it's a bad thing. But in my opinion, as a content creator, this is a very good thing. Why? Okay? If it wasn't for them, like I said, you're going to see Kareem in every single game. You're going to see the kids have kareem and every, it's not fun you're gonna see go kareem on tto you're gonna see go kareem on unlimited that is not fun in my opinion okay that is one thing i want to talk about that it, it's fine they could price fix it doesn't matter not only that it makes the game longer it makes you want to grind harder for this rashad lewis that is priced at around 1.7 mil and it's a fact because people who are trying to grind and get kareem if he was 700,000 to 800,000 cheaper Everybody would have him and there would be less grind and less like strats to continue to play this game That is completely my opinion. You guys are up to your own entitled opinion. I don't it's up to you, man I'm just putting it out there speaking my knowledge now. Let's go over the next card um Also, yeah, people say you could get banned from MT I know millions of people that have bought MT have not get banned I honestly feel like most of the banning does not come off MT buying because I know thousands of people that have bought MT off the site, off whoever. And for a fact, guys, they have not got banned. They have People have gotten banned off glitches and whatnot. It's not a glitch, guys. It's buying a card off the auction. So people ask me, can you get banned? There's very minimal chance. I would say about 5 to 10%. You do get banned. That's another thing I want to talk about. People are like, yo, you're going to get banned. You're not going to get banned, guys. 
you have to think about a lot of things with the banning. So let's say you put up a bronze card for 100k, the site buys it out. 2k probably could see that, but you don't think there's another million people doing the same thing, transferring MT, selling their MT. It's endgame. The chances of you getting banned are very slim to almost none. So that's another thing I want to talk about. Maybe next year they will increase the ban rate and whatnot. It's probably going to happen, but this year, ban rate wasn't really for buying MT. It was mostly for glitches and whatnot. Um, but yeah, these packs are whatever. So that's another thing I want to talk about. Um, the ban rate for this stuff, it's really not high, guys. People have bought millions of MT. Everybody has bought MT almost in the community. You guys see MT giveaways on Twitter from Carlos Story, from Mies, from Simba. If you're giving away MT, you got to put up a bronze card, an amethyst card, or whatever card for 100,000 MT. So with that being said, that's a giveaway. They can't ban you for a giveaway, right? Technically, they can in their terms of service. But it's a giveaway. It's not a VC giveaway. Selling MT is against the code of conduct. So then what is it? You can't give away MT. You have to give away VC or hard-earned money. Or you could give away your hard-grinded MT that you work for. Now, another thing why I like MT sites, MT selling, whatever. Yeah, there's scammers in the community. That's why you never go to any anybody. If you guys ever want to buy MT, you always come to Bugs. Because I'm going to tell you if he's legit or not. Like, you never ever go out to another seller and ask if he's legit and you have no idea and you buy and you get scammed. If you really want MT, you probably should come to a YouTuber first like me. I will help out the community. I'm not, like, I'm just saying. So that's another thing I want to talk about, man. There is a lot of scammers out there. Me, personally, I'm not a scammer. I am completely legit. Um, I will, if you want MT from my site, you have troubles with it buying, I will help you out. You could DM me on Twitter and whatnot. Whatever, I'm just saying. There are some people on Twitter like, yo, I'm selling MT for the low, hit me up. Personally, I know a couple of my subs that haven't gotten a scam by those scammers. So you don't want to go to Twitter. If you're on Twitter, man, you see a guy with like five followers, followed by nobody selling MT for like five bucks, 100K. I mean, it's a clear deal. It's like, yo, the deal's too good to be true, guys. Let's be real. So that's another thing I want to talk about. Yeah, there is scamming. Um, but now, let's talk about MT, guys. In my opinion, like I said, MT buying or ripping packs off the scam 2K odds, okay? Yeah, people are going to disagree. Um, they love popping packs, whatever. I, I'm a content creator, guys. I pop packs every single week for you guys. These, in my opinion, if you spend VC, let's say you spend 100 bucks a week, that's around $4,000 at the end of the month off packs. What are you going to get, man? It's, it's luck. It's all luck, man. The packs are so garbage sometimes. They're also so fire sometimes. Most of the time, I would say about 80% of the time, if you pull, let's say, this box, you're probably not even going to get over 100,000 MT, to be completely honest with you. So you spent, like, let's say $100 on the game, right? $100 on the game um whatever you got 200,000 MT okay 200,000 MT on price wise is about let's just say 15 per 100k so over 30 bucks versus 100 bucks you get 200,000 MT um from a YouTuber from a site from whatever so that's another thing I want to talk about man VC um 2k wants to ban people for buying MT even though it's a lot of people that are hardly grinding MT to try to make some money off the MT site yeah it's against the code of conduct and whatnot but you guys have to think about that people are like 2k yes they're a company they want to make millions of mt but people are always going to try to loop loophole any other company that anything they try to do there's always going to be a loophole for anything so that's another thing i want to talk about guys you can pop the packs it's literally a scam that's why i don't understand why people say you get scammed by mt sites but literally you're going to get scammed on 2k vc odds like these packs are terrible i'll pop one for you i literally posted a pack opening on friday and I pulled about 400,000 MT worth and I got nothing. And here it is, man. An emerald and a ruby. These cards are worth about 1,200 MT. So 1,200 MT like that. I just lost 10,000 MT like that. That's what I'm saying. So VC-wise, you spend 100, you get nothing, you're an L. Good, you got scammed. Congrats. So now when people talk about getting scammed and whatnot, you go to a reliable source to get your MT and whatnot. Now price fixing, all that good stuff, I'm with it. I am with the MT sites disagree i know dbg is completely against it i don't care that's my complete opinion you could agree you could disagree this is my complete opinion so overall what do i think about mt sites yes some of them are shady with their paypals and stuff some of them are shady they're all ran by like the same three owners but guys if as long as you're going through somewhat of a youtuber that's in contact with them you should be completely safe 
or you could just buy MT from another guy that a YouTuber knows or that's trusted, not vouched, screen recorded messages and whatnot. But that's my complete opinion. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because it was up in the community for a little bit now. And I do sponsor MT side. I wanted to tell you why. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Hopefully we do get a locker code and whatnot. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you later. Have a good one, guys. Peace.